Hey everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. Last episode, we fought against um, uh, Richard C. Sleen of York and Labyrinth Ruler. And I'm gonna be honest, both of those matches went really well and really smooth. Today might be the finale as we're taking on Kaiba and... Um, you know, if it doesn't take long, also the final boss, but you know, who knows. It really just depends on how quickly we uh, are able to defeat Kaiba, because Kaiba is, like, one of the harder ones, I'd say. Definitely, like, I mean, he can throw out some blue eyes and blue eyes ultimate dragons, right? That's always kind of, uh, scary. Alright, we get Vermilion Sparrow up instantly. That's cool, I guess. Vermilion Sparrow isn't bad, but like starting with a Molten Behemoth or like a Forest card is always a little nicer. You can make Vermilion Sparrow like with like genuine ease. Um, yeah, I would have, like I said, I would have preferred a uh, Forest card. Um,. I'm unsure if I really want to uh, use up my Swordsman of the Foreign Land, as it might just become a really useful monster for um, for this battle to take care of some really tough opponents. So obviously he's probably got a couple of Dragon Treasures and things like that. So power increase there. So, like, Kappa's deck is filled with, like, Sayadus and, uh, what's it called? Although, he used a Legendary Sword, which buffs up Warrior Monsters, meaning that's likely guilty at the Dark Knight. That being said, we drew you into Candle of Fate, which is always kind of nice, because that allows me to check if he's got a f Oh, yeah, this is bad. That was a mistake. Allows me to check if he's got what's it called uh, spell cards or trap cards. Well, who knows if he goes off on the offensive here? He does obviously go for the offensive, and if that's blue eyes, I think we just straight up lose. As a this is a oh, okay. What mo what, what did he use? He used bright castle. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that then it was not. I'm gonna assume it wasn't a dragon monster and it instead may have been just another Giltia. Well, I'm gonna put Vermilion Sparrow in the front. I mean, it's either dead or like Mystical Elf, but he probably. I don't know, I've, I've noticed that, like, Kaiba kind of has a refusal to use Mystical Elf unless he has to. Alright, he doesn't want to attack into me, which is strange. Three monsters and a spell card. Um, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that that might be a dangerous monster over there. I also know that the other monster is guilty, so there's that. Hey, another guilty. We got multiple of those, apparently. I mean, it makes, it makes a little bit of sense because he's on the, uh, you know, Sogan terrain, which gives Guilty out a decent buff. You know, it, as much as someone might say he's got a dragon deck, he's actually mostly got a light deck. Like, his, he's got mystical elves and he's got a bunch of cards above light monsters. Though I wouldn't really, I kind of find it weird that he has a, like three legendary swords, which kind of, you know, sure it's good for guilty, but like you kind of want to mostly spec it to your very strongest monsters instead. I don't know, guys. I think... I think this is another Giltia. It's the Unhappy Maiden. 
Now, I think the Unhappy Maiden doesn't actually take uh, life point damage, right? Like, if it doesn't do that, then I'd be really weirded out. Also, like, don't really know why he's got this monster, even in his deck. To be fair, if he does take life point damage, then we're in a really good state here, but... I'm gonna go on a limb and say he doesn't. I don't know why, he also buffed that guard, didn't he? He used to, I think... I think he used, like, Bright Castle on it. Yeah, he doesn't take damage. From, uh... That exchange. Yeah, I really just want to draw a Forest card. Like, that is what would really help me out. He still got three Blue Eyes by Dragons, clearly. And, oh god, it's probably there. To be fair, even Sayara would kill me. Yikes. Oof. Although only 600 damage, it's... Manageable. But I'm already feeling that it's gonna be a long one. We're not allowed to draw um, into our strong monsters, I guess. Yeah, we're kind of unlucky with the draws at the moment. Has to stay there. Nope. We're drawn in the half of our deck now, and we haven't gotten a forest card. At least this uh, slightly weakened Sayaru. And also lags the game a bit. Well, 2900. At least we're able to take care of it. Yeah, stuff's so gonna get really dangerous once uh, he gets off his uh, mystical elves, but at least Candle of Fate helps us out a little bit. He's used one, two, three, four boosting cards. He really hasn't used that many cards, if you ask me. Don't know why we even have Fiery Yard Summon still. Alright, he comes forward, meaning that. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a spell card or a trap card. If you're just not allowed to draw into a fucking uh, what's it called? die by that like this could very well just be a trap card right and then he's just gonna tag into it with whatever that monster is which I think is guilty of although that guilty has been on the field for a while now also he's got three mirror forces totally forgot about that But it was a shadow spell, which is fine because now I can use the forest card. To turn this match up upside down, I guess. 
like I said, it is really nice to have Candle of Fate here to just see um, what he's got. Although, like, I think Gyra has, like, three mirror forces. I'm a little afraid of that. Alright, Gift of the Mystical Elf sucks, but whatever. likes that monster. Okay, that's the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, guys. Well, I was not expecting that. Damn, I'm sorry, Cerberus, man. Gotta hurt. Think about this. Start off with just throwing out the forest here. Yikes. All right, well, you know what we really now need is a uh, we need a swordsman from the foreign land. Here comes Blue Eyes. We unfortunately don't draw what I really would have wanted to draw. We got a Lord of D over there. Zodri's these two guys. Decent chance that even with this fusion, it's not able to take down Vermilion Sparrow. Oh, that's not good. Him going after my Molten Behemoth there can really lower our uh, attack strength. One nice thing is that he kind of did leave his deck leader vulnerable, so we might just be able to finish him off this turn. Yeah. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic, but I mean, that's kind of what this game is all about, isn't it? Yeah, the AI just never... The AI is just not good at defending their um, symbol. I mean, not symbol, their deck leader. We got Kaiser Dragon. Whatever. Of course, there's like one panel that's fake trap. Doesn't matter, but still. And with that we beat Kaiba who we didn't really outmuscle him. He just he just made a mistake there by um leaving his um deck leader open, which 
To be fair, I did the same thing in that match, but he didn't capitalize on it because he was using unhappy fucking Maiden. And he's back. Monobob then fought player now with his uh, immortal deck instead of his um, uh, <laughs> instead of his just bullshit deck. I mean, this deck's hard to face off against as well, but yeah, both of them kind of suffer from the same thing. I don't know. This match, similarly, like, your best way of winning here is to just hit him a couple times. So, boom, we throw out one of our multi behemoths over there. You can get up a couple multi behemoths. Honestly, like, that could be a decent strategy. Although, he just got a force off there, which means he's probably able to destroy. He'll use a spell breaker to just get rid of that in and of itself. It's time eater. Back to 2400 for you. Yeah, he can't destroy multi behemoth defense mode. That being said, we could make them attack into some defense mode monsters. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Because clearly he's now like thinking of let's do something else instead. Also, I mean, he could throw out a mirror force pretty quickly. I don't think he has like Dark Hole or something like that, which honestly our deck is not that horrible against him. Um, I don't know why I, <laughs> I don't know why I revealed him. It's kind of, I don't know, I guess it's force of habit. Because obviously now he's not going to attack into it. Kind of a mistake. Yeah, Pi Dragon Piper, never mind. Um, Megamorph. Makes sense, I suppose. I like this monster. That could give me some decent bit of help there. Although now he goes off against me. Now he's all up in my business. He's already got five monsters onto the field, so... Um, yeah, that sucks. Preferably, I like to keep my, um, Candle of Fate. You lowered to 2600 over there. You to 2400. Let's do some deck thinning. I'm noticing my monsters aren't actually getting weakened by the crush. Um, like at all. 
Is that? I don't know why though. He does die to the viral infection, so there's there's that. Probably gonna go after Candle of Fate again. Um, Jowls of Demise he throws out there. And we lose another 1000 life points, isn't that fantastic? Let's just get, I think I have a f flip on this fair set card, flip face up in, okay, it's in battle. <laughs> Interesting. That thing does have a force going for it. Let's see what happens. Probably puts Jowls of the Mines in the defense mode, right? Okay, interesting. I mean, if this works... If this works, we just win. If this works, we just win. Hey boys, we won this one. Wow, what an anticlimactic way to win. But I ain't complaining. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky that the opponent is terrible. And we get Megamorph. Let's go. What madness is this? I cannot lose. I am the guardian of the cards. <laughs> what madness? You put your monster with a hundred attack in front of me. How fucking mi How fucking terrible can you misplay there? Like, I get that sometimes you leave, like, the deck leader vulnerable, right? But it's like... You actively... You actively flipped... His jowls of the mice first to make sure it doesn't have an effect. Then to just put it in the range into the forest to get fucking mauled. And with that, we finish off the uh, pyro deck with uh, real ease. To be honest. That went so fucking smooth, like, God, was there even a battle left? Like, since, was there even a battle in the second half that gave us any, like, bits of trouble? Like, I'm trying to recall, and like, yeah, no, none of the battles gave us any trouble after this. Our deck 
where it's just so smooth, where it's just so easy to bring out really strong monsters really, really quickly. Yeah, it, it just kind of, it really showed, yeah, the Pyro deck is really good, actually. Of course, if you just get the support you need, then you can make a decent deck out of it. The deck's also just very well built together. Uh, you're getting, you're able to get every Pyro monster outside of Jig and Bakudan from uh, Shadi, right? So, I ended up already having free Jig and Bakudan. The only thing I needed is to just grind every card out. And then we just can make the perfect deck. So yeah, um, this was a very fun playthrough. I really enjoyed uh, playing with Pyros. I'd say obviously like, the only thing is obviously like the first part where I had to genuinely grind for like a day to get a whole bunch of Pyro cards. And like, by the end I didn't even get like, and by the end I got like, three Pyro cards out of it. Three Jig and Bakudan. That was everything I got out of it, outside of just like a bunch of support cards. But yeah, man, I rate the the Pyro deck quite highly, actually. I didn't expect it. I was thinking, God, it only has eleven monsters, right? Strongest monsters only like Flame Cerberus, who's got a base twenty one hundred attack. But yeah, the Pyro has, you know, a lot of good support abilities but also just the fact that you have uh, like flame cerberus and vermilion sparrow are very easy to get out and then molten behemoth can just supercharge these monsters so you can just throw out monsters with 35 three thousand attack or more with just like three stars that was the strength of the deck if you got up if we got our like free molded beam is up like every pretty much everything was invincible. Like there's very little cards that take down face down defense monsters or face up defense monsters. Like you got things like Mirror Forest that can take out like at your monsters in attack mode, but they don't get rid of your defense mode monsters. Which just like once the molten behemoths hit the field, they were never leaving the field. I don't think molten behemoth was destroyed once. So yeah, um, for those wondering, the next uh, run will be of insect deck, uh, the insect type, because um, yeah, that actually, like, kind of funny story is, right, like, I, I obviously made a poll, community poll, to um, see, you know, what type you want me to play, but, and I chose a couple out where I was interested in, and Pyro was winning when I was uh, recording and grinding, you know, for part one. <laughs> But by, by the time part one came out, Insect had actually overtaken Pyro, so I felt a little bad not using Insects uh, straight away because it did kind of win. But because of that, the next run will be Insects, and after that I'll uh, probably pull again to see what you guys would want. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this content, you want to see more of this, uh, su subscribing, liking, and commenting really uh, makes me... Uh, you know, motivated to do this stuff and uh it really makes me happy to do it. It makes me know you guys like the stuff and uh yeah subscribing also really helps my channel so yeah something even more important however is uh to have a good day and uh I'll see you guys next time in the next series goodbye <laughs>